Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here and wait, 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 before you lack scream at me or scream at the screen being like Mars, you have done this look a bajillion times. Can we just get some green eyeliner and black lips, please? Um, <laughs> Firstly, I ain't that girl. Secondly, when I tell you, you are going to love this look. This is for all of those people who do not have time to do their full face of makeup period okay this is the look i have been thriving on i've been wearing this almost every day literally when i tell you that this is the look i have fallen in love with trust me it's so quick it's so easy to do it's very simple and we're playing with lip and cheek tints today okay i don't think i've ever spoken about tints because i thought it was not a product for me but boy was i wrong okay i have fallen in love with lip and cheek tints and i think that is my next like favorite thing to wear at all times. Now, if you see my skin, it looks so youthful, so healthy, and it's one of those clean, fresh makeup looks that's gonna last you a long time. Okay, so yeah, I mean, if you wanna watch how this look is done, and if you are interested, then please continue watching. All right, guys, so the most important thing in this kind of a look is skin prep. Okay, you have to put on moisturizers, primers. That's what sets the face for the makeup you're about to do. Because we're not putting a lot of product on our face, we have to take care of how our skin looks. Okay, so the more moisturized, hydrated, glowy your skin looks, um, the better the makeup is going to turn out. So I've tried to use drugstore products in this video. Usually I would use the Charlotte Tilbury cream and things like that. Um, there is, I think, one or two products that are high end, but the rest of them are drugstore store so I'm gonna go in with the color bar water bomb this is the magic water creme and it is really really good very hydrating on the skin and it's drugstore so that's why I'm gonna use this all over my face all right I got you in closer so you can actually see how my skin looks so it's really dry right now so I'm gonna take two pumps of this and I'm just going to apply this all over Okay guys, so now that I'm done with moisturizer, I definitely want to go in with more layers of moisturization because I'm a dry skin type. Okay, so for my girls with oily skin, you will just put like a layer of moisturizer and a little bit of primer because the oils will show up during the day. But for my dry skin girls like me, um, this is what you will follow, okay? Just try adding more hydration into your skin. So what I'm gonna do is, I usually take the Farsali liquid glass. This is so beautiful, this is the mini version. And this literally makes your skin like glass, exactly what it says, it's so hydrating. It's very beautiful on the skin. This is gonna be like your best friend, but it's quite expensive. So I have an alternative for you. This is the Color Bar Perfect Selfie Primer Oil. Even this is a great alternative. You just need some sort of a beauty oil on your face. So once you've put the moisturizer, you can go in with either a stroke cream or a beauty oil or something that gives you that extra hydration. So what I'm gonna do is just drop a few drops and just work it in. Now this primer oil is not very oily or tacky. It just smells good and it's got like a good texture to it, you know? So that's why I'm recommending this. All right, so this is one side and it looks really nice, extra hydration, but I'm gonna go in with the Farsali next. All right, so this is the liquid glass and it's obviously a little more popping. It's so beautiful. Even this is really nicely hydrated. Um, so you can really decide depending on what your budget is, but obviously don't go in with two primer oils. Just pick one and just go with it. Okay, so this is how my face looks after the moisturizer and the Farsali liquid glass. I love how my skin looks. So now when you step out, even just like this, your skin will look so beautiful and juicy and healthy. It feels like you drank a lot of water. 
<laughs> okay, that's the effect we're giving. So now that we're done with this, we definitely have other areas we can cover with primer. Okay, so my nose area over here has a lot of like pores, uh, which are very uh, visible if I don't cover them with a primer. So I either use the Smashbox uh, Pore Minimizer or I go in with the Benefit Pore Fashional Primer. Now there is like the NYX Pore Filler Primer as well, which is great. I will have some alternatives linked down below just so you can test it out. So just like the Farsali and this are like high end because they're so good. And I use this every day and that's why I wanted to show you my true everyday routine. Okay, so what I do is I take very little um, in my hand. Okay, and I'm just going to massage it onto my nose and my problematic areas so there are different primers that come okay one is like oil control shine control um, one for dry skin matte primer there are a bunch of primers out there so whatever you're tackling that's the primer you will use primers are really cool actually I used to avoid primers back in the day but I cannot do without them now because I've understood the importance of a primer okay it just creates a barrier between your makeup and your skin if you use it all over your face and if you have like large pores around here you know as we grow older we have like pores around here um, that's what a pore filling primer does or something like this will do okay you just tap it into the skin and it mattifies and fills in the pores of your skin which i think is great it makes it just blurs everything out and looks beautiful okay i lied there's like one more high-end product <laughs> it's this one right here it's the mac stroke cream in pink light girl when i tell you this is such a good product like you get minis of this as well so check out the minis you can also use the nyx primer um, and even maybelline has a strobe cream which is really great so any sort of a strobe cream now what i what do i mean by strobe cream okay it's basically a lotion with a little bit of illuminating properties in it so it makes your skin look very like luminous and like duochrome it's got this uh, nice purple pink sort of an effect on it so what I do is I just put this on the high points of my face. I know you might be like, Miles, that's a lot of product. But trust me when I tell you, if you want your skin to look juicy and beautiful and healthy, like you're not, you've not worn a lot of product on your face, skincare is what you should take care of so that you can minimize your makeup products. Okay, so you go up on your skincare and reduce your makeup products. Okay, so the more you hydrate your face, the more you allow the skincare to sit, the more beautiful your base is going to look. Okay, so now that I have my skin looking gorgeous, can you see what the stroke cream did? It just amplified um, the moisturizers that we have underneath. It just like brought it back to life. Okay, so this is how it looks. Otherwise, it's gorgeous just as is. Okay, now we're gonna cover a little bit of dark circles that we have some blemishes over here i got a little bob that came to visit here also left a blemish and here so we're gonna cover that those little things okay so now we're not gonna use any foundation for this video we're gonna use just concealer now for concealer you know i love my la girl pro conceal this is in pure beige and then i'm gonna use the swiss beauty concealer i've actually been liking this concealer this is in the shade 03 light moyen i think it's so good um and for my girls who have a little bit of a deeper dark circle you will use a color corrector okay this is the one i have it's the nika insta blur in the shade peach and i've used this before and it's really good now i don't usually use color correctors because i think i don't need it and it's just an added step in my routine and an added product which i don't need to add on my face but for my girls who actually really need to cover their dark circles this is the product you can use Okay, so I think this is a great stick to just have in case you are battling with very dark eyelids or, you know, darkness around your mouth. This is going to help combat that. That's what a peach corrector does. All right, so I'm adding a little bit over here just to show you what it does. I do not use this at all. Okay, this is not a step I go in with. So um, you can just use a little bit more on the inner corner a little bit on your lid and just use your fingers to tap it in okay but for you who needs a color corrector on a daily basis I think this stick is super lightweight and it doesn't apply too much product so you can control how much you're putting and it's in a very good travel friendly size so I think I really like this corrector as well and it gives you a very nice smooth application it's hydrating under the eye that's what I love about it um, so this will control your darkness a little bit and then you can go on with concealer okay 
for my girls who do not need a color corrector just go in directly with your concealer all right so this is the part you have to pay attention to we want less product but we definitely want some makeup on our face okay this is not a no makeup makeup there's definitely product going on but we're just using like minimal products you know this makeup i actually do in under five minutes i'm done with this in five minutes but the fact that i'm explaining it to you takes time okay i'm gonna take the elf sponge which i've been loving lately a lot and i'm just going to blend this concealer in now for you who have been following me um regularly you know that i always use two concealers for the fact that this is like very similar to my skin tone okay pure beige and this sort of cancels out the darkness it's got that orange undertone so it's going to cancel the darkness it's going to even my skin tone now i use the another concealer to brighten further that's why i use another concealer but you don't have to okay you can stop with one concealer if that's the look you're going for but i am very used to brightening my under eye a little bit more hence two concealers okay so this is the look it looks very good it's cancelled out the darkness i'm just gonna go on my lid because you can see a little bit of darkness as well i'm gonna go over my blemishes too little bit around my nose and then you want to start blending it in of course use your fingers as well that also works Okay, so now that it's all blended, um, it's even tone. However, the concealer is a little bit orange than my skin, so you can see the difference. And we want to even that all out. So I'm going to take the Swiss Beauty Concealer next. All right, so our face seems a little bit more even. What I did is I also dragged the concealer out to the rest of my face. Concealer is a great base, by the way. Like, it really gives you full coverage. Setting your face is super important, even if we are using face tints, which I'm about to use in just a bit. Okay, now tints don't sit very good on powder products. Not a lot of tints, okay? They're very liquidy, very watery, and they need to be um, done on bare skin or skin that hasn't been set. That's when it's beautifully... Uh, blend it out okay with powder it becomes very patchy so don't set your face and powder your face completely and then go in with a tint it's absolutely not the way to do it because i have tried and tested all of that and it does not work it's very patchy but we want to set our eyes because we definitely look a little bit too shiny so for that again i'm gonna take my maybelline fit me loose powder and what i'm gonna do is set it really smartly so you're gonna take your sponge you're gonna get rid of all the creases and you're gonna dip your sponge in the powder and you're just going to either bake or set whatever works for you baking works for me so i'm gonna bake the inner part of my eye that is it okay and whatever's remaining i'm just going to set the center bit of my face the center does turn really oily after a bit for most of us so you want to take a little bit of powder and just make sure you are pressing it in okay don't go anywhere near the cheek area because we're about to apply our tint we're gonna let the powder sit while i do my brows okay now brows are important to do if you have really thick beautiful bushy brows you can avoid this step but um i really like good bold structured brows so i'm gonna take the um, rufa beauty brow pencil in the color ebony okay this is with me filling it in a little bit you can automatically see the structure in this brow as compared to this so it just looks a little nicer I'm going to take the e.l.f. brow gel and I'm just going to go over my brows. Okay, now comes the main part which is the lip and cheek tints. Now, I have been using tints so much lately. Like when I tell you this is the look I wear almost constantly, um, this is it. Like trust me. 
okay teens are gonna be your best friend <laughs> when you grow older because i feel like it just makes you look super youthful man there's something about a tint that i absolutely enjoy these days i was a complete anti-tint person when i tell you that i was like dude this product is just never gonna be something i enjoy and now i just look for tints to buy because they're so good okay let me give you some options of the tints that i've been loving Okay, so the first one is the Bennett tint. This is the most like famous tint and it's really beautiful. It's very liquidy like you can see. And this is the mini version. It's the 4.0 ml. The next tint is the e.l.f. monochromatic multi stick. This I came across very recently. Um, it's not my most favorite one, but I love the idea of a stick, you know, uh, rather than this being liquidy. You can just like tap this on and blend it out. It has a little bit more glitter particles in it. Um, and not shimmer and that's what I don't like about this but I still use it you know when I'm around the house I just use it and I really like it so I'm gonna that's why I gave this a shout out because I do use it the next tint is by I don't even know this brand but it's the water fit tint okay and it says fmgt here i don't know what that is this is in 05 cherry kiss i'll find it and link it below but it's like a water jelly sort of a formulation okay it's not that liquidy um so i usually put this on the inside of my lip and i just tap it i'll show you what i do with it actually and just a little bit on your cheek same thing but my most favorite tint is this one right here. This is from the face shop, I believe. This is the Ryan something collection that came out. I don't know if it's still available, but this is in the shade of a... Can't see better. Zero one graceful rose. My eyes. Okay, and this formulation has to be my favorite. I love the fact that firstly, it's so cute. Secondly, it's got a mousse texture. Okay, it's not liquidy, it's not gel, it's a mousse texture. So it's definitely not gonna fall off. And I love the fact that this can be a beautiful lip product as well. And I have used this like a crazy person. Like I have overused this. I realized I didn't set my eyelid. What the heck? <laughs> that must have been really disturbing to watch. I'm so sorry. The tint I have been using lately is this one right here. This is the Ilana Beet Tint. It's beetroot pigmented lip and cheek tint. So freaking pretty. This one is just gorgeous, but it's very liquidy. Okay, it's literally like, girl, it's water inside. And I've used a lot, like I've used it till here. It's so good. I'm gonna apply that on my skin right now and show you how it applies. Okay, so now how do we use tint smiles? Okay, you will definitely not powder any of this okay do not powder your cheek it's very important i have to keep specifying it and all you're gonna do is this is the color of it okay it's like bright red okay you're gonna put it at the back of your hand your hand is going to stain but you can wash it okay just two drops at the back take your beauty sponge okay this is gonna be your best friend you can obviously apply this with your finger but i love the even application of a beauty sponge it is unbeatable can you see the beautiful application of this tint and the fact that it's done with the beauty sponge makes all the difference because of course your fingers great as well but i feel like you don't get an even application you know this just presses into the skin so beautifully any any beauty blender that you have okay i'm gonna do it once again drop drop take the beauty sponge let it absorb keep tapping it okay and when you see the color on your mild slow application very very soft applications don't put pressure on your cheek okay just like tap and pull up tap and just i love tints like i don't know what happened i'm just in love oh my god and when i tell you like i wore this the other day and i went out and girl like when i came back home it was still there because it's a stain right it's a stain and it's gonna be tattooed on your face until you wash it off uh, when you use cream blushes or powder blushes they come off really easily and very fast but these tints stay tattooed on your skin for a very long time so it's one of those products that has that benefit as well oh my god girl and doesn't this look like a more healthier version doesn't this look like a more juicy youthful looking skin
Okay, so what I do is I don't just do it on my cheek area. I take it all the way up till my temple because it just looks very like cohesive and put together. And do not forget your nose. Like do not forget your nose, okay? Because trust me, this is where it looks all cute and like sunburnt and sun-kissed and it just looks so beautiful. I cannot get over this. I think this look is best worn in office when you have those long days but you don't want to cake up your face with too many products and clog your pores. I think this is very lighthearted, it's beautiful, very minimal products and you look really pretty too. Uh, I'm gonna take some bronzer. You can totally skip this step. I don't do this step at all but I'm teaching you um, things that you can do, giving you alternatives, okay? Take this and just add a little bit of something. Just. A touch of product just a touch of product we don't overdo it because that's not what we're going for here for all of you who want to contour again you will just take a little bit of product this is the l'oreal bronzer okay same brush just go over your eye this has no eye makeup okay this look is without any eye makeup literally that's it just to give some color Okay, you can also use the tint. Okay, you can just put a little bit of tint on your eyes and that's gonna be great as well. Okay, so then you're gonna use a lash curler. This is from Colorbar. I recently purchased this from Nykaa. When I tell you you need a lash curler, just take my word on it. You need a lash curler. Um, I don't know what I was doing without it for so long, but we need it. I'm gonna show you the difference between no lash curler and lash curler just so you can see. Okay, I'm gonna take this and you're gonna press can you see my lashes already as compared to this like it's already lifted it already looks like it's come to life i'm taking the color bar zoom and whoosh mascara okay so can you see i mean it's still lifted but it's a little like wonky you know it's not very like beautifully fanned out so if you want the fanned out gorgeous effect you're gonna just use the curler. Um, okay, so I don't do uh, mascara underneath my lashes anymore. Like, I just feel like it looks really nice and clean. Only when I do dramatic looks, that's when I do it. So I'm gonna move on to lips now. Even for lips, you can just use your lip tint. I'm gonna take uh, this pencil in from K-Beauty. It's a nude lip pencil in the shade Hype. Okay, for lipsticks now, you can go all crazy. I mean, honestly, you can use any color you like. Okay, lipstick is my favorite thing so either you can use the lip tint that you just use which is this beet tint right here you're gonna get the same color onto your lips just like a lip stain and tap it on you can definitely do underneath your lipstick because it's gonna be a stain and last a long time like if that's the look you're going for nice it's got some color it's beautiful it lasts the entire day because it's a lip stain but what i'm gonna do is add a little bit of something to my lips you can go in with any nude lipstick you have this is interview by huda beauty and i take this tint you can take whatever tint you're using generally and just do it on the inside I think this is a Korean technique. They just put tint on the inside of their lips. guys so this is the final look i love how this looks i think it's so put together and you still look very youthful very fresh it doesn't look too cakey or powdery um i love the fact that it's still glowy around here and your whole face is glowing you can definitely apply some cream highlighter or powder highlighter on your you know outer parts i'm just gonna skip that bit because i think it looks very glowy as is so yeah guys this is it this is the final look i'm sure all of you are going to love this when you start 
this look you're never going to stop it's one of those timeless classic beautiful quick makeup looks because sometimes we don't got the time to sit and literally contour our face and stuff so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching you guys i love you so much from the bottom of my heart if you do put on this look on a daily basis or you have your own techniques and stuff let me know down below i would love to like know what you do on a daily basis i know a lot of you apply kajal and liner as your everyday go-to and that's amazing as well i mean it really brings out the eyes but for me i feel like a more clean look is what suits my face so i love you i hope you try this look and definitely tag me if you do and i will see you in my next video Bye.